Welcome to This Day. I'm B.J. Arnett, your host. My guest right now is going to get on my case. I can feel it because he's talking about health. Now, he's going about health through an area called stress, which I don't really have a lot of. Yay! <laughs> I pushed that out. Uh, Dr. Ken Redcross is our guest. And Ken, thank you so much thank for you, being BJ. here. Thank you, BJ. Thanks for having me. I'm I very excited to share some of this stuff. Well, it's important to that, you know, with your background as an internal medicine, yeah. uh, board certified internal medicine physician, I, I realize that in this nation, people get so very stressful. We just take a look at the example of the elections and people were stressing yeah. at all time highs. But there are many things that happen in our life that could be potential stress moments. No, you're, you're absolutely right, BJ. You know, the election you mentioned, that still kind of hasn't gone away, and I don't think that'll go away for some time. It was a very passionate filled passionate um, election. But I'll tell you this. One of the big reasons why I wanted to come and share my time with you guys today is because I think it's important for us not only to focus on our stress, but it's really how we kind of internalize or view it and how we deal with it. Mm -hmm. I always like to talk to patients about really kind of starting a, a stress-free makeover in a sense on how we can do that in 15 minutes of our day because we're all so busy. That's part of the stress for some. Yes. Um, but we need to figure out how we can actually really do a big difference with that. Well, you know, people's lives are packed now. Yeah. You know. Rarely do folks sit down with their family and have dinner or breakfast or any other time together. Mm -hmm. Everybody sits at one designated spot in the house with their iPad, their phone, their this, their that. And they are internalizing things that when I was a child and you, you know, you vocalized, you were able yeah. to say something, you, you were able to talk it out with someone. And it's just a different structure of life now. So how do we deal with this different structure? Well, you're right. Number one, we don't unplug anymore. No. We never do. If you go in New York City, you see the bottom of everyone's heads because yeah. everyone's down like that. But, you know, it's funny you mentioned as far as getting together as a family. One of the things that's so important to me, I always talk about the importance of our diet and mm -hmm. how we come together, right? Because I always say food is medicine, BJ. And I think if we think that way, we're really careful about what we put into our bodies. So I always talk about the first meal of the day. What does mom always say? It's breakfast. It's breakfast. And she is so right. So I wanted to talk about some breakfast boosters. Okay, now am I looking at mushrooms? You are. You are looking okay. at mushrooms. Well, uh, one point for BJ because she does do that on some mornings. All I right. Did. No, I did. I, I, it's not because of some great thing I thought of. It was... I need something that has some substance to it and make me think I'm eating something. And it it's the texture of the the portobello mushroom that makes me feel like I've ate something. Well, I was, I'm glad you mentioned that because I'm glad you're already doing it as yeah, well. Yeah, I, I, I did that part. Now, well, I'll tell you, mushrooms are one of the best foods that you can have to really? actually boost up your immune system. See, when we're stressed, our immune system makes us more susceptible to illness right. and then later on to disease. Right. So I had to bring mushrooms in because mushrooms do a couple of important things. Number one, they increase the amount of white blood cells. They help produce them. Mm -hmm. Not only that, they also help as far as the aggressiveness of white blood cells so they can get that infection out of our body. Mm. Now, I mentioned it here because you can put it maybe in an omelet each and every morning or however you like to enjoy them. But if you want the true benefits of medicinal mushrooms, you want to consider supplementation, but you want the supplement to be something that's potent, that's also clinically researched, and also well absorbed. That's why I mentioned AHCC. See, AHCC is a supplement that I talk to patients about because it has the precise mix mm. of medicinal mushrooms shown in human clinical trials to actually not only boost our immune system, but it also had anti-cancer properties. Wow. It's the number one immune supplement in Japan and it's used in over 700 clinics throughout Asia. So I love making sure that when we're talking about dealing with stress or anything, that we stay closer to the earth. And yes. HCC allows us to do just that. The other thing I have here is yogurt, mm -hmm. because that's for our probiotics. Mm -hmm. Probiotics, I think we're all learning about the importance of probiotic to our gut health, because yes. most of our immune system is housed in the lining of our gut. Mm -hmm. So it's important to make sure that we bring in probiotics. So I see no cornflakes and no frosted flakes. Uh, uh, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a no corn flakes, frosted no flakes frosted zone, okay? okay. But All we're getting right. close here because we're not only talking about HCC or probiotics, but we're talking about oats and barley. There you go. I brought those because barley is kind of the forgotten fiber out there, it a forgotten is. brand, I should say, because mm -hmm. it's something that we don't eat as much. You can eat it just like you do as far as with oatmeal, with cinnamon or milk and that sort of thing. But the thing that unites these two is that they have beta-glucan. 
Now, beta-glucan is a fiber um, that has been shown to have antimicrobial benefits and antioxidant benefits. Once again, all three of these are boosting up our immune system throughout the day, right when we get started in the morning. Is it true that we need to boost up our immune system more in the winter than we do in the summer, or should we... Is there an acceptable level for our immune system to be at? And what is it and how do we get there? Yeah, you know, I think it's important that we're thinking about this all the time. It doesn't yeah. really matter kind what of where. What time of year? No, it really yeah. doesn't. This is something that is very important that we think about and we think about often. And now something else besides just our diet is that we also talk about, and I brought my personal to-do list here. Wow. Is to make sure that we clear the clutter, BJ. Yeah. We are so busy. We're everywhere. Like you said, we're all texting, but we have to mm -hmm. clear the clutter, not only on our physical space, but we need to clear the clutter in our brains as well. The thing that works for me is that I have my to-do list here, and I make sure that my to-do list has categories, says urgent, important, and non-urgent, so that the night before, I can kind of get my day going in the morning because I've already kind of categorized the importance of things. So you kind of took it out of your mind the night before and you know the next morning that you can look at this and say, okay, I'm tackling the urgent first. Exactly. Yeah. And the important thing, BJ, there's nothing that feels better than me checking that Crossing little box. Crossing off Let those me tell boxes. You. Oh, check my em, check Lord. Em, check em. It's, it's major. It it's is. major. It is for me. And a lot of patients love it, so I felt I need to share no, it with everyone. No, that's a major. So <laughs> as, as we're going through our days, and, you know, people think of their lives as, I'm going to do the right thing when I get 40. Yeah, no, no, no. But I am under the belief that you have a child. If you didn't do it right in you, you can start, there's your opportunity to do it right in them. Um, our children, we did not do uh, the big golden arches and all that. Yeah. It was natural foods and, and trying to keep them as close to uh, the natural things in God's earth that yeah. we possibly could. Now, you got that cousin, our great auntie, that's going to take them over there to that Go narch thing. Oh, you're going to yeah. get it. You're yeah, you're going to get it. But if you've padded it all the time with the right thing. Yeah. No, you're right. And I think as we talk about the importance of our diet, and I mentioned some of these other things, the last thing I love to talk about is perfect for what you're mentioning because this is the spiritual part for me, right? Mm -hmm. This is the important part of breathing deeper daily. Mm. I mentioned that because I have my little yoga mat holder here because that reminds me that, once again, yoga is a perfect mix of relaxation and exercise. Yes, it is. We could do that 15 minutes of the day. I brought my own meditation pad and beads mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. um, because meditation is huge for me. Mm -hmm. Meditation is something that patients love because... It's not only about the stress and anxiety there. This is more about self-awareness. Mm -hmm. This is about why does the Center. good Lord have me here? Center. What yep. is my purpose? Yeah. And that's something that we can do. Whether you like mushrooms and we talk about these things or not, these are things that we can do. For those who are saying, Dr. Red Cross, you are so crazy. You're talking about levitating out of here and yoga. I say, okay, I brought my Fitbit for you. Right. Because that's for How's you. that for you? Because that's your high intensity interval training. Now, yes, I'm a CrossFitter, is. so I do that so too. So you do that. But this here, we're talking about this stuff. This is the stuff that is spiritually where we are. This mm -hmm. is the fiber of who we are mm -hmm. as people. Getting to your core. Getting to and, the core. And, and recognizing who you are and what God made you here to be so that you can be a service to someone else. I get tickled every time I see women walking in and out of my gym with these little carriers. <laughs> I, I laugh every single time. But what it does remind me is that they're doing something yeah. that gets them centered, gets them to a place where they can take that next leap to a healthier body and a healthy mind. With the stress that people go through today, it, it is at record high, not just for adults anymore, but we're finding that middle school children are experiencing tremendous amounts of stress yeah. as parents as overseers of children teachers and pastors and so forth how do we help get children out of the place that we should have never gotten into which is a stress zone yeah you know one of the things i do as a, as a father of twins myself oh god bless um, you is that I, I, need, I need a hail mary believe yes. me i need a couple of and, them and the boys are girls the one of each oh bless your one heart that's awesome though. so that is officially done the red cross <laughs> family is done um, but one of the things that I, that's it. So I think one of the things that's important, and I and I and I talk to them about this. Believe it or not, they're 11, but I still talk to them about stress and kind of how the world is changing. Yes. And you have to be very faith-filled yes. and faithful, right? Yes. About how we approach these things. They always get the stuff. They, my kids know H, C, C, like the back of that. They, you know, they've heard me talk about the importance of these for other patients and, mm -hmm. and their diet. But the spiritual realm is where my kids know that um, this is where it begins. That this is where it begins and ends. 
at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so you have to make sure that you're coming together as a family, that you're yes. coming together and having these open discussions and dialogues. Because let me tell you, these kids are dealing with things that I couldn't even fathom at that age. Yeah, and, and I think that that is part of the um, dynamics in these United States that we weren't ready for. Yeah. That, you know, we can say this is bad on the news, but did you recognize it walked into your child's school that this is what they're dealing with uh, in their homework assignments? They're discussing these things in the hallways. I was totally surprised that that uh, middle schoolers and sixth graders, sixth graders talking about the election and how it affected their household and who was upset and who wasn't upset right. and how they just, you know, I saw one little child on the news go, I just can't believe it. And I thought, when you're all are eight, what can you believe? What are you talking about? I know. But they are affected by the things that we go through as parents and what society goes through. Yeah, and these are things that you never thought you'd have to talk to about your no. small, your younger child. No. And now you're realizing that the importance of everything now, um, especially as what's going on in the U.S., whatever direction we're headed, you know, it's even more important to be to be together mm -hmm. um, and to really understand the spiritual part of what it is to reduce your stress and how we can do all these things. And once again, the big thing is all of these can be done 15 minutes or less, I promise. You can meditate in 15 minutes and yes. be taken to a special place. Yeah. Yes, um, you that can. That is really important. Yes. You know, I, I, I know that people don't really realize this, but I actually get up in the morning and love my time in the shower. I am in clear understanding. I'm getting a download from God. There I'm go. centering. I'm that. calming down. When I get in the car, I don't immediately put on the news because right. that's going to take me out of this special realm that I'm in. Yeah. I don't want to be inundated with that. So I get it. I get it. Now, I am going to have to learn a little more about this. Yes. A-H-C-C. -C. Yeah, and you know, what the thing that's important is patients come and see me because they know, as I, you heard me say, I'm probably about things that are closer to the earth. There's some other medicinal mushroom supplements and that out there, but AHCC was different in that it actually had human clinical trials. Wow. See, we can talk about things when we, we give them to rodents or that sort of thing, and we go there, and that's okay, because that's how we get our drugs. <laughs> right. But when I hear human trials, and when I know that it's used, I mean, AHCC is actually used as the number one immune supplement, as I mentioned, but the interesting thing is if you are diagnosed with cancer in Japan, mm -hmm. you're started on AHCC. So wow. once so, I learned about these things, yeah. Yeah. I had to, you know, I you, had to make sure I shared to, that. Yeah, you have to sh really delve in it and share it. There, it's so much great information, and, and information is only powerful when we use it. That's right. So um, my hope is that people have heard you, doctor, and that we delve into this full force as a family. Absolutely. Stress reduction only in 15 minutes. That's it. And center to the core of what God has for you. Just simply take those minutes to hone in, to meditate, to hear what he's saying to you today. Dr. Red Cross, I, I appreciate you being here and all this. And, I, you know, I will admit it, I do feel a little convicted because I don't even want that yogurt thing over I there. I know. But I do try it every once in a while. <laughs> And I do have to learn how to cook these other elements that you're talking about. So Absolutely. I thank you. I thank you for having me. How can people get in touch with you? So feel free. You can actually email me or I should say go to my website at drredcross.com. Well, that's easy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> email. I'd be pretty busy if I did that. Um, you can also go to my web, my handle at, at twitter.com, which is at Dr. Red Cross, and also Facebook, which is uh, Ken Red Cross MD. Simple as that. All right, guys, take hold of your life. Take hold. Take time to get a very centered lifestyle. It's your health. It's your stress that you don't have to have. And it's an open door for your family to learn from you that all things are possible to them who believe, to them who have faith, and to those who do what the Word says. How about let's just do it. Amen? God bless you.